Welcome to Miss Angie's Kitchen. Today we're making French toast and the things that you're going to need for French toast would be your milk. You need one egg. And when we measure our milk, we're going to do one cup of milk, some vanilla, some cinnamon, if you like it, it's optional. Some people don't like how cinnamon tastes, and some bread. All right, so we're going to take our one egg Crack it into our bowl. I'm going to take a fork and we're going to mix our egg. Now we're going to take one cup of milk. Pour it into our egg. Now, if you're someone like me, I like a little extra egg. Sometimes I'll put two eggs in there, and it's up to you. If you don't have vanilla, it's okay, but I like to add vanilla to my French toast, and I just put a little tiny splash in and cinnamon. I just like to sprinkle a little bit across the top and then I just take my fork and I blend it in. All right, I decided I'm going to go ahead and add my second egg because I think that this needs to be a little bit thicker. So the recipe will be two eggs and one cup of milk. And then we're just going to mix until everything is blended. So I have my pan heating up at medium heat. I'm going to take a little bit of butter, put it in the pan. If you don't have butter, you want to put oil in there, you can do that too. Sometimes I'll do a little bit of both. I want my butter to melt all over the pan. By putting butter in the pan, it helps our food not to stick when it's cooking. I'm gonna take a piece of bread and I'm going to dip it in my egg and milk mixture. And put it in the pan. I'm just letting that cook for a couple of minutes, reaching for a spatula. And sometimes if I think that my French toast does not have enough cinnamon on it, I'll come back in and I'll sprinkle just a little bit more. And you can check under the pan. Looks like mine's sticking just a little bit. That's okay. I'm looking underneath, and it's not quite done yet. You want it to be a golden brown. So we'll come back and check on it in a minute. All right, it's been a couple minutes. I'm just gonna take a peek here. You can see how it's nice and golden brown? So that side is cooked. Now we're going to flip our French toast. And we're gonna let it cook for a couple more minutes. All right, been a couple minutes. Let's check, look at that, nice and golden brown. Now I'm going to repeat that process and I'm gonna cook all of my bread until all of that egg mixture is gone. I would say that that egg mixture could probably make anywhere from four to six pieces of French toast. It just depends on how long you let your bread sit in the milk because then it acts like a sponge and a little absorb it.
flipped it over a little bit because that other side just looked a little wet still. Oh, I'm happy with that. Look at how pretty it is. It smells really good too. The cinnamon smells amazing. And I'm going to keep doing this until I run out of egg mixture. So I am still cooking French toast. I'm going to get about six full completed French toast, but I wanted you to be able to see what it looks like. And um, you can top it with butter if you like butter. Do it when it's hot so that the butter melts. And then you can top it with things like syrup. Um, this is the kind that my family likes. You can use real maple syrup. I know some people who put yogurt or applesauce or um, bananas or um, what else? You can put jelly on there or you can eat it just like it is. So hope you enjoy. See you next video.